Hi there! Welcome to this learning activity video. And our objective for this video is that the learners represent real-life situations using exponential functions. Let's start! We have the exercises. We have here real-life problem. Problem number one. At the beginning, there are 1,000 culture of bacteria. Give an exponential model for the bacteria as a function of time, t, if it doubles every 10 hours. So we have our solution. At the start, t equals 0. The number of bacteria equals 1,000 times 2 because it says here it doubles times 2 raised to 0 because t is 0. So we have 1,000. At t equals 10 hours, the number of bacteria will become the initial amount 1,000 times 2 or 2 raised to 1. That's 2,000. At t equals 20, the number of bacteria will become 4,000. At t equals 30, 8,000 and so on and so forth. Now, what is the exponential model for this problem? As a function of time. So an exponential model for this situation is n, we call it n, equals 1000 times quantity 2 close quantity raised to t all over 10. Moving on to number 2. The half-life of a substance is 200 years and we are to give exponential model for the situation and how much will remain after 300 years if the initial amount is 200 grams. Solution Using the fact that the mass is halved every 200 years as stated in the problem, so we let t equals time in years. At the start, at t equals 0, the amount of substance equals the initial amount times 1 half raised to 0 or simply 1. So it's 200 grams. At t equals 200, the amount of substance will become now 200 times quantity 1 half raised to 1 or 100 grams. At t equals 400, take note the time is being doubled because it says the half-life is 200 years. So meaning half of the amount after a certain period of time after 200 years another half of what was left before is given to be 50 grams in this particular example now after from t equals 400 plus 200 so we are now at t equals 600 the amount will become now 25 grams and so on and so forth well an exponential model for this situation is let n be that exponential model that is equal to 200 times open quantity 1 half close quantity raised to t over 200. With regards to the question how much will remain after 300 years then our t here is 300. So we substitute it for the model. So we have n equals 200 times 1 half raised to 300 all over 200. So we have 200 times quantity 1 half raised to 3 halves or 70.71 grams. Hence, 70.71 grams of a substance will remain after 300 years. As you can see here, at t equals 200, the substance is already 100 grams and after a t equals 400 then 50 grams so within this in the middle is t equals 300 so meaning it would be it must be consistent that between 50 grams to 100 grams is the amount for the 300 years so we have here 70.71 grams Moving on to number 3. Nena invested 50,000 in the bank. 
if the interest rate is 5% compounded annually, what is the exponential model for of the situation and how much Nina earned after 5 years? Remarks, compound interests. If a principal amount P is invested at an annual rate R compounded annually, then the amount after T years is given by A equals P times the quantity 1 plus R close quantity raised to T. For the solution of that particular problem, the amount invested by Nena is 50,000 with a rate of 5%. So we have to change it to its decimal form. Then the time period is 5 years. Initially, we have a t equals 0. So we have the initial investment of 50,000. After 1 year, the investment of Nena would become 50,000 times 1 plus the interest rate which is 5%. So in effect, we have 50,000, you multiply it to 1.05 and that becomes 52,500. So there is an interest amount of 2,500. At t equals 2, investment now will become 52,500 times 1 plus the interest which is 5%, it becomes 55,125. After 3 years, then this 55,125 times it by 1.05, at t equals 4, the amount at the end of 3 years, 57,881 pesos and 25 cents. You multiply it with 1.05, that becomes 60,775.3125. I just simply round it up to two decimal places. So at the end of 4 years, Nena's investment would become this one. And this investment amount at the beginning of the 5th year this one you copy that and then you multiply it by 1.05 again that is the amount of the money of Nena in the bank after five years an exponential model for this situation we call it y equals the principal amount 50,000 times 1 plus the interest rate 0 0.05 that's 1.05 and we raise it to t D is the number of years. So how much Nina, Nena earned after 5 years? So we have after 5 years, it is consistent with our result here. But in this case, this is a shortcut. This is more efficient way of calculating the amount of Nena's investment at the end of 5 years. Rather than you keep on computing year after year what if this is now what is asked in the problem is t equals 10 then we have additional five computations here although you will end up with the same result but this exponential model will give us an efficient way of solving the problem moving on for more examples we have here example number one a certain municipality has 2,000 individuals and its population doubles every six years. Give an exponential model for the municipality. What is the municipality's population after five years? Solution. At the start, at t equals zero, the number of individuals is, of course, 2,000. At t equals 6, it becomes 4,000. At t equals 12, 8,000. At t equals 18, 16,000. And so on and so forth. So, an exponential model for this situation is n equals the initial amount, the start, t equals 0, that's 2,000, times, it says here, it doubles. So, meaning times 2. If it is half, then it's 1 half. So, it doubles, then it's 2. Then the exponent is 2 raised to t over 6 because it doubles every 6 years. 
Number two, the half-life of a radioactive substance is 500 years. If the initial amount of the substance is 500 grams, give an exponential model for the amount remaining after t years. What amount of substance remains after 100 years? Solution Using the fact that the mass is halved every 500 years stated in the problem, let t equals time in years. And at the start, t equals 0, the amount of the substance is obviously 500 grams. At t equals 500, that is after 500 years, then the amount would be 250 grams. After 1,000 years, it becomes 125 grams. And after 1,500 years, it becomes 62.5 grams and so on. Now, an exponential model for this situation is n equals the initial amount of 500 grams times open quantity 1 half, close quantity, raise it to t over 500 because the substance is halved every 500 years. How much will remain after 100 years? So, simply... We have to plug in the t equals 100 for in the model. So that's 500 times 1 half. Raise it to t over 500. So t is 100 years. That becomes now 435.2753 grams. Or simply round it off to the nearest grams, 435 grams. Hence, Approximately 435 grams of a radioactive substance will remain after 100 years. Moving on to number 3, the Damai Cooperative offers 3% annual interest rate compounded annually for a certain fund. Give an exponential model for a sum of 30,000 pesos invested under this scheme. How much money will there be in the account? after 10 years. Solution, we have the principal amount of 30,000 pesos, interest rate at 3%, converted to decimal, that's 0 0.03, and then we have the time, t equals 10 years. An exponential model for this situation is y equals P, the principal amount 30,000 times open quantity 1 plus 0 0.03 or simply 1.03 close quantity raised to T. How much it earned after 10 years? Well, simply plug in T equals 10. So we have it here 30,000 times 1.03 raised to 10. After 10 years, the money will become now. 40,317 pesos and 49 centavos. Hence, the amount invested by the Kadamay Cooperative at 3% compounded annually after 10 years will become 40,317 and 49 cents. So this ends our learning activity video and please don't forget to like and for those who are not able to subscribe yet, please click on the subscribe button and if you want to have some comment for improvement or for any clarifications regarding this learning activity video, kindly comment down below. I would be happy to reply as soon as I can. And this is Teacher Marichu saying always stay happy, healthy, and safe. God bless!